You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Good to go? Yes, good to go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Welcome to Infinite Valuable Time. Today is February 16th of 2024, and I'm your host, Brian Park. In this podcast, me and guests will freely talk about and share opinions about technology, culture, worldwide news, and etc. Since Wikistation is located inside of Amber Riddle, we will definitely talk about school life, school culture with students in present future. Uh, huge thanks to Wicked for letting me use a space and gears. And thanks, Ryan, for training me to become a podcast host. And today we have four guests. Uh, originally, we were going to have two or three more guests, but they're late. So we're going to start right now. Starting from the right, uh, we have Karthik. Yes. We have Endor. We have Anirun. What's up? We have Rafe. How you doing, guys? Awesome, awesome. I would like you guys, each one of you, from Karthik to... Uh, Say, what's your major and what's your interest? So uh, I'm Karthik, again. Um, my major is aeronautical science. I used to be in aerospace engineering. This is my second semester here at Riddle, and I pretty much switched over. I know some might call me a scaredy cat, but I'm not. <laughs> okay. And my interest, planes. What else can I say? <laughs> Ender? Uh, my name is Ender Tureno. Um I am majoring in aeronautical science, just mm -hmm. a normal pilot here, man, to be honest. Okay. Um, my interest, I really like aviation. I love aviation and uh, passionate in business, too. Awesome. So, yeah. Anirudh? So, hey, everyone. My name is Anirudh Iyengar. Uh, I'm an engineering physics major. I'm currently in my senior year, uh, about to graduate this semester, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And uh, my major interests lie in physics and music. Yeah. Uh, initially, I wanted to do pure physics, but I saw this major being offered here in Embry Riddle, and I couldn't resist but to apply. Mm -hmm. And I got in, and I couldn't be more grateful for the opportunity to do this. Yeah. And I'm excited to be on this podcast today. So thank you for having me. Awesome, Rafi. Can you actually come this way more? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> you're good. All right. Hello, hello. My name's Rafi. I'm a sophomore in nautical science. I'm a pilot here. And my interest, politics. I love politics, man. Okay. You love politics? I love politics. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Are you going to be a politician in the future? Fingers crossed. Political yes, sir. commentary while he's really? flying a plane. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> okay, good to know. So uh, the reason why I am doing this podcast today is what's happening today, Karthik. Please introduce to oh. the viewers and listeners what's happening tonight at 10 p.m. We're going to have Daytona Daisy, man. I want to say something, but I don't want to say it at the same time because let's keep it PG, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can say it's a party. It's a club. Oh, yeah. 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 It's a, we're having a party at 509. Yes. At, if you're going to see this in the future, you're going to regret not coming. Mm -hmm. So regret. stay tuned. I'll follow the return tables on Instagram. Yes. Um, and stay tuned to uh, 509 Lounge, follow Instagram there. Yes, for yes. 509 as well. They're uh -huh. amazing people. Yes. And the Riddle Indian Student Association. Uh -huh. And obviously, Brian Park, my boy. Let's in the go, back. Brian Park. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for the word. Uh, Anirudh, would you like to add more to that? Of course. Well, building on that, mm -hmm. we've uh, tried for a very long time to have uh, a cultural event where mm -hmm. we can get together and celebrate Indian music, yeah. uh, Indian culture. Mm -hmm. And this is the perfect opportunity for everyone to come out and get a taste of what it's like to party with us. Yes. Uh, because usually we don't get to do this as often. Uh -huh. But now uh, it's going to be off the hook, to be very honest. Yeah. And we're all really looking forward to it because we haven't partied in a while. <laughs> 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 when was the last time you party? Oh, man. I'm, I'm a physics major, man. I'm, okay. I'm usually just living on campus at this point. Yeah. You'll either find me in class or, you know. Computer lab. Computer maybe. labs. Yeah. With my pillows and yeah, okay. surprise, whatnot. <laughs> yeah, no surprise. Yeah. No surprise, man. No I'm surprise. I, I, I basically live on caffeine right now. Yeah. But yeah, uh, I think uh, the last time I partied was probably around November of last year. Okay. Is when we had the first Daisy Nights. Okay. Uh, I, I, was I wasn't there. <laughs> right. But to, give, to, to, to paint the picture mm -hmm. very, very uh, succinctly, I would say, mm -hmm. uh, it was... Uh, a trial event where we hosted uh, a Desi Nights hosted by the same production company, Tandoori Turntables. Mm -hmm. And uh, we did this at Rock Bottom at One Day Tona. Mm -hmm. And we didn't expect a lot of people to show up. We were estimating maybe 30, 40, at best 50. Mm -hmm. uh, but we had a turnout of about 180, I think. That's awesome, and yeah. We had an amazing response to the event. Mm -hmm. Everyone loved the music. 
um, not and it's not just the Indian community. We had people from all over Daytona come and have a great time there. Yeah, uh, we booked the rooftop mm-hmm. and we had it for about three hours and we partied so hard. Yeah, and if you're in Daytona and you haven't seen this man Karthik yet, um, <laughs> you've what been you living. Doing, man? You, you've been <laughs> living under a rock. <laughs> you've been living under a rock. Yeah, I'll tell you that. This Car- man's yeah. been climbing in celebrity ever since uh, the word go. Uh huh. I think the the first video I uploaded on Instagram with Karthik, yeah. it's going through, I think it's about 8K, 9K. It's yeah. about to go through 10K. So, Karthik, you are you have a great talent over entertaining people. I yes. I appreciate it, man. But you to do. be honest, Brian, without you, bro, I yeah. wouldn't be sitting here. Bro. I'll make you more and <laughs> more <laughs> famous <laughs> after the club. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ender, I met you... 30 minutes ago <laughs> and you're yeah. standing with Karthik we were talking with Karthik so I know that you're SGA vice president yeah to the people who doesn't know what the vice president is in SGA what do you do so basically my job is um, kind of like lead and guide 18 senators mm-hmm. at the same time promote like everything on campus mm-hmm. and it can it can fluctuate like you have the bylaw definition of what is the SGA VP but at the same time you need to see like actually the VP what it, what it can do mm-hmm. uh, I have the opportunity to influence 18 different uh, people but at the same time how many uh, are options on campus can Jeez. be from the colleges from the non-colleges like anyone on campus I can think about I can influence yeah. that's why I've turned with these guys over here yeah. because they represent the, the Indian student population over here so literally they i just what happened like i just met you like uh, a few weeks ago like a few weeks ago <laughs> yeah, in, yeah, in yeah. the union or something right yeah, yeah. yeah and i was like hey do you mind if i go to the to the meeting and just like talk about the sga and they were like yeah yeah man come on uh, roll in uh-huh. and that's the thing like i i don't i don't do the scripted advertisement i just do the student advertisement mm-hmm. it's like hey ca- how it can be appealing to you guys mm-hmm. so that's my job would you say that um vice pres- vice president in our school equal to vice president of the actual vice president of government let's say yes man why yeah not? yeah oh okay <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> hey, I, just heard the word. I just i just learned that you you have to take uh you know 18 senators under you yeah and that, that doesn't wow. sound easy at all no it's it's hard but um the most important thing is like yes you're like it, it was a it was a challenge the the semester because we like I got into the position after they removed one of the uh, or previous vice president mm-hmm. and and it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of curious because we have what it would normally happen is that you have a very motivated v- the vice president mm-hmm. and then the senators are non motivated yeah this is a very high very high driven like ha- high energy driven group of people. Uh-huh that they didn't have that motivation with the previous uh, vice president. But yeah. now they have a whole energy and where we're like probably you guys have heard about the Senate even more than just in the past. Well, yeah, I we have. Okay. In fact, the presence has gone up so much that uh, I've heard more about the activities that's been done by student government now than I have for the last four years of yeah. my academic career here. Uh-huh. And it's that's amazing. Great. Thank you. It's amazing. Like it's it's uh, no, I'm saying this and I really mean it because this is what we want to see. We want to know the faces of the government mm-hmm. um, that we've elected. We want to get familiar with them, and we want a friendly face. We want to go up to them and voice our concerns, talk about our problems, mm-hmm. you know, and make s- things relatable so that everyone feels like they really belong to the community. Mm-hmm. And that's w- most of any successful organizations that I know start yeah. from there. Uh-huh. And I think the SG has been doing a great job at that. Yeah, yeah and that's what yeah. you guys are doing tonight, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. The same thing, hey, we're, 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 we're feeding off the energy, man. Yeah. We're feeding off the energy. We so, love it. yeah. So you're vice president, vice president, Rafe. Yes. I know you're into politics. I love politics. Like, what do you think about vice president position in here? Like, would you would you like to like, I don't know, appeal or like you want to do that or you want to be in I'd the SGA? I love to yeah, get into the comes. SGA. <laughs> <laughs> so I. Coming to that, how do I join the Senate? That's actually a good the question. Senate. That's actually a perfect question. So, um, basically, to join the Senate, like, are you, if you want to, let's talk about like senator positions and everything. Obviously, you need to run it, do yeah. your, your thing. Fun fact: all the listeners, and if you guys are interested, mm. uh, the packets for Senate they're open right now. You ah. need to serve a whole academic uh, year, so fall and spring. Mm-hmm. Uh, have above a 2.5 GPA. You need at least uh, 50 signatures from your respective college. Honestly, mm-hmm. you can do it in a day. Um, and that's and then you're in the ballot. Then you need to convince people to vote for you. So you campaign, Done. basically. Exactly. That's when you campaign. I'm going to be on your senator's group. <laughs> hey, man. Oh, yes. you, uh, have you filled out the packet? I'm going to get it 
Monday and I'm going to start on it. Do it, man. Do it. I have too many connections. I'll get the signatures done. Ooh. 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 Yeah. See, yeah. Getting down the bad. route. See, this <laughs> podcast <laughs> is really not about Thunder Return Tables. <laughs> <laughs> it's about Rafi the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The Senate. See, if you Rafi. guys are listening up, my name's Rafi. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm see, an aeronautical right. science major, okay? Mm-hmm. I'm a loving guy. Uh-huh. You are? Yes, I'm always high on life. I don't smoke, I don't drink, but I'm high on life. <laughs> You're okay? high on life, okay. So if you see me coming around campus, please, okay, for God's sake, if you want a better student government, it's great under Rando, it's going to be greater under me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> for sure. No, and, and th- that's a good question. Like, for example, how can you get involved in Senate right now? We have four communities that you can join. Uh, that is innova- innovation, uh, wellness, professional development, and sustainability. Anything that you're interested, you can you can get your hands on. Literally, you can join and propose an idea, and that's how you get along with the senators and you get along with the structure with the senate. So it's 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 pretty nice. Like you, it's open to anyone to join. So cool. you can always email SGAV Press at mm-hmm. uh, eru.edu, and I can put you in a committee. Sweet, perfect. Yeah, awesome. Uh, yeah, talking more about the Tundra turntables. I met uh, Karthik and Anirud through Janesh, and I met Janesh through. Shashank. And I know you, Anir, you're like a businessman. <laughs> How did you... <laughs> I'm <the> Entrepreneur. <laughs> Entrepreneur, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please, please. Yeah. <laughs> like, how did you like uh, build up to this moment? Of course. Uh, before I expand on that, um, while I am one of the many spokespersons for mm-hmm. the organization, uh, the founder of Tanduri Turntables and mm-hmm. uh, the, the quote-unquote, the CEO mm-hmm. uh, for it is Janesh. Okay. Um, and it started off basically uh, with us just watching TV in yeah. our apartment and just thinking about doing something amazing. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had a bunch of our friends who used to actually DJ for Wicked mm. um, and they were Riddle students. Shashank and uh, yeah. Anish. Shashank yeah. and Anish. Uh-huh. We started off with the idea of basically doing something where we can get everyone hyped up about being a part of the Indian community. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter even if you're not Indian. Mm -hmm. It's just... It's just a culture of celebration that mm-hmm. everyone so widely recognizes now. Yeah. But it's been a part of our culture ever since the beginning of time. Yeah. That we have festivals, we have different like diversity in religion, mm-hmm. and culture and traditions. Yeah. But no one really knows that as well as um, Tanduri Turntables could bring it. Right. Um, and what better place to start than Daytona, right? Yeah. Because this, this used to be an amazing party place. Mm-hmm. Um, and and still is we're still bringing in a lot of energy yeah uh, so it started off as a very small concept um, and we were just discussing this uh, you know on the couch we were just thinking okay we'll do something with it you know we'll, yeah. we'll talk about it and we were just ideating and we weren't really making much of the situation right cut to two weeks later when mm-hmm. we actually got on call with uh, DJ Shank and DJ Swaha yeah <laughs> we like right there out there, right there, there, out there. <laughs> <laughs> And then when we proposed the idea to them, they were so thrilled to be a part of it. Yeah. They said, we have to do this. This wasn't even an option after that. Mm-hmm. We, we knew that we had an amazing uh, batch of students who were going to back us with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's that's the shout out I want to give to um, the freshman batch and the sophomore batch as well. Mm-hmm. We got together with the Indian Student Association, which yeah. is a registered student organization here at Embry-Riddle. Mm-hmm. Um, I took over the position as treasurer for the organization. Mm -hmm. Uh, We pulled some strings, um, moved the gears. And now, uh, cut to November 2023, uh, we had an amazing Diwali event, which is an Indian festival, Mm -hmm. which is widely celebrated in India as the Festival of Lights. Yeah. And we managed to put up a huge concert. Uh um, In here? Yeah, in, in our here, school. Right, yeah, in, in the school, school oh, wow. right here at the event center. Uh-huh. So if you come to the union, uh, it's usually on a weekend. Okay. And it's around November uh-huh. when we do it. Yeah. Um, we bring bands. We bring, we have dancers. We yeah. have a lot li- like light shows. We mm-hmm. have games. Yeah. And we have the best thing about Indian culture is the Indian food. Yes. And yes. Sure. For sure. Uh, a four course meal. Uh huh. We did the whole shebang. Yeah. We, to be very honest, we didn't know it was gonna get as lit as we thought we would. Yeah. And we had to top that. And the only way we were going to top that is by doing uh, a Desi Nights. Yeah. And that's when, uh, you know, I got in touch with uh, DJ Swaha, DJ Shank. And they were more than willing to drive down to Daytona and give the people exactly what they need. And that was a huge party. Yeah. 
Um, and now, and now, <laughs> and now, we have been DJ Swaha and DJ Shank, along with the CEO Janesh Panchal, oh, okay, okay. have BJ, infiltrated BJ, BJ. the Wicked Studio. I'll put you guys in just for a moment. So, Shashank, you sit down there. And yeah, I want Janesh to use the same microphone as Karthik. Yeah, I got you. And Anish, why don't you come next to Anirudh? Yeah. We have. Three new guests. First one, Shashank, our main DJ today. All right. Sorry, I'm uh, sorry, I'm a little late. I had to get a haircut. Um, along with Swaha, you know, took him to my barber. So second person, the CEO of the Thunder Turntables Company, Janesh. What's up, guys? Janesh, how Janesh. we doing, boss? I'm doing right, man. Stressed a little bit, yeah. but we we chilling. Uh, I want to introduce the third new person, Anish Swaha. Is that right, Anish Swaha? Uh, Swaha is just Swaha. It's not my last name. Oh, okay. Right. CEO. Honest Why should people come today? Honestly, at the end of the day. The boys are together, so we got we got each other. We got our backs, and we're just gonna make a party go happen. Mm -hmm. This is not a party just for brown people. <laughs> it's a party for <laughs> we got we got our ender right here, who's also Latino. Latino. He's Latino. already Indian. He's half Indian. <laughs> 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 next SGA, yes, next president for oh, ISA. Yeah. We already have the votes for him. Uh -huh. But honestly, <laughs> like, we, it's it's an open event for everyone. Mm -hmm. Everyone can come. Everyone can come. Mm -hmm. It's Daytona 500 weekend. We want to have a nice time. Mm -hmm. We're in Fire Nine Lounge. We're on Seabreeze. So yeah, just come out, get lit, uh -huh. get drunk. Yeah. We don't support drinking, but <laughs> right, <laughs> healthy, oh well. healthy drinking, healthy drinking. Yes, yes, totally. Janish, I have a question. Yeah, what's what does tandoori mean? Tandoori. Tandoori is basically the oven, the clay oven. Yeah. That you put either the naan or the meats inside, and okay. it cooks into a certain temperature. So okay, it gives it a little flaky, that crispy vibe, the burnt feeling. Mm. Which you know most brownies are burnt. <laughs> we burnt. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> DJ <laughs> Shane is burnt. Let me tell you some. The naan he referred to is an Indian bread, which is popularly served in almost any Indian restaurant you go to. Mm. Yeah. So is there a good re good Indian restaurant in Daytona Beach? Uh, I'll tell you right now. DJ okay. Shank. Yes. All right. I'm about to. I'm, I'm not sponsored, but I'm with Indian Cuisine uh -huh. in nice. South Daytona, on Ridgewood, South Ridgewood Avenue, the best Indian restaurant in Daytona. Yeah. And no doubt. No doubt. Shout out. Shout out. It's, it's probably one it's of the. It's probably one of the better ones, even than like Orlando, like all around. Mm -hmm. Damn. Let me ask you. Yeah. It's it's good Indian food. Or it's authentic. It's c the closest authentic I've had, right. and it's really really because good. the authentic has to be in India, right? Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Like no, it's like for example, when you ask me, like people ask me about Mexican food in here. Uh -huh. And they refer to Taco Bell. I'm like, no, 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 no. no. hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, get out of here, man. No. Hey yo, but Taco Bell do slap when you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's your do slap, bro. Uh, you don't, you, you gotta have that feeling, bro. Like we are talking there, about Latinos, man. Bro, you, you walk here to Taco Bell. What do you expect? Ten dollars put on the table, and you get a whole meal. The the new menu is actually pretty good. Yo, bro, that, that, that cinnamon. Whatever what's, that what's is. What's the menu? What's the menu? So there's like new there's like new uh, like new items that just they just added to the 2024 menu. They okay. have like Thrust Leches like cinnamon balls or whatever, bro. That sounds. Well, it wouldn't. It goes crazy. It wouldn't get close to the real Mexican food. Of course not. Like, no, no, no. Uh, no. They're uh, trying yeah. though. They're trying. They're though. trying. They're trying. Yeah. But, but yeah. I would I would like to hinge off of um, um, Shank's idea of uh, Amrit, uh, but this is also a big shout out to Fifth Element. Mm. Um, is that a movie? I mean, that's a movie, right? Is, uh, no, Fifth Element Fifth is another. <laughs> English it is a movie. <laughs> it is a movie. Restaurant, which is actually right across the um, right across campus here. Indian restaurant. Yeah, it's okay. an Indian restaurant. Uh -huh. um, uh, both Amrit and Fifth Element were gracious enough to let us promote the event uh, oh, wow. uh, that we're hosting today. Okay. Uh, they let us put up posters, and uh, most importantly, they have delicious food. Mm -hmm. So I never a been. Big shout I out to, to. Uh, Fifth Element as well. In addition to to Amrit, both are amazing Indian restaurants. Mm -hmm. Definitely recommend trying them out. Big shout out amazing. to Fifth Element. Yeah, well, we can't forget about Seven Star Indian Grocery Store. They also helped us out a well. lot. Yes, sir. Oh, so okay. thank you to the Indian community in Daytona Beach. They really helped us out putting this event. And don't forget Wawa and Best Buy. Oh yeah, and, and Target. Target and Target. I'm <laughs> you sorry. You know, I got I got a little sister. Y'all know her. Yeah. You know, she went all around posting it random oh, wow. places all around like Wawa, Best Buy, Target. But honestly, wow. we can't forget about flight ops. Oh, flight yeah. ops went <laughs> crazy. <laughs> what, why? Why? Shout what happened to? Ivan Grau, shout out Ivan Grau. Okay, uh, Ivan he's Grau. my boss. Okay. Um, yeah, he's uh, he supports it, he, all of it. He allowed you to post it on. He, the here's the thing. Here's the thing. He thought it was funny. He thought it was funny. Are you kidding me, dude? He thought it was cool, <laughs> dude. He's he's just, he's just cool like that, you know. He's he's, he's amazing. He's yeah. chill. He's he's a cool guy. I like chill. People are scared of him for whatever reason. No, 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 he just wants cool to help guy. you out. You know, he's, he's a cool guy. He's a yeah, really yeah, cool yeah. guy. Anish, how so, did you uh, become a DJ? Uh, I came into the studio to pretty much like for, I believe it was one of the. One of the Diwali events for ISA. Last and we, year? 
not last year. So about four years ago. Oh wow, four years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, not that old. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So four years ago, uh, ISA was having an event and they wanted us to perform. They're like, "Oh, any musicians?" Uh-huh. And I played the tabla. It's an Indian instrument, a okay. percussion instrument. And I believe Ani, he sang. He played the guitar. And then so we had kind of like a group. And they're like, "Where do we practice?" And then one of the older guys, he was like, oh, there's a studio on campus. And mm-hmm. I got excited. I was like, yo, a recording studio? Like, I'm about to spit, you know? Wicked? Like, yeah. Yeah, Wicked, yeah. So that's how I got to know about Wicked. And then when I came in, we were, like, practicing right there. Uh-huh. I was on the drums. I was on the floor for the tabla. And then this guy was, like, on the guitar, like, yeah. just spinning back and forth. And then uh-huh. I went around back, and I saw this, that contraption in the back with buttons and shit. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? like, and I was like, what is that? To uh-huh. one of the guys, and they're like, oh, that's a... That's it's a DJ equipment. That's what people use in festivals. Mm-hmm. And then I was just like, "Can I try? Can I learn?" And then mm-hmm. from there, it's just that's all it took. So I you came. learned from here, yeah, the Wicker. Wow. From here, yeah. I didn't start getting into like EDM house and tech house and all that until like I met him. How? Uh, so the way I met him, he was a he, okay. <laughs> he was a little weirdo. I'm not gonna. <laughs> hey, listen, 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 listen. Yo, yo, yo. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I mean, I always knew of him. Okay. I, we would always walk past yeah. each other on campus. Okay. And, like, I didn't have any brown friends uh-huh. at the time. Anisha was always friends with all the brown people. He just knew everybody. I was okay. like, damn, I was like, he's, he seems like a cool guy. Yeah. So he's, he's trying to, like, skip through and filter out all the <laughs> weird stuff. That all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so I would see this guy on Legacy, you know, whatever. The he's Legacy like, walk. Yeah, uh-huh. so he would, like, he had a penny board. He would ride that shit, and I'm walking. Oh, I remember would, that. And then he would just, like, stare at me with his, like, googly eyes like that. He'd just be like, I don't be staring <laughs> at people. Now, <laughs> come then, on, And then I'd bro. look at him, and I'm like, whatever. And then I'd see him again, and he kept on looking at me, and I was just like, what's up? He just <laughs> not, like, not his I head. I just nodded know? my head. And then the next yeah. day, it was, you know how, like, you know how, like, you Dudes those, be like that, man. You know how, like, you've seen those reels, like, how guys become friends or whatever? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, So I saw him a few times, and I see him at Boundless, and he's uh-huh. looking, I'm just like, that's all it was for, like, a good month. Yeah, and then one day, like I had to cut somebody's hair. Okay, and he happened to be in the in the hallway in Nuras One, I believe. Were you a, like barber or something? Yeah, I'm a barber too. Oh wow! <laughs> 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 He's like, yeah, I'm a barber, barber, barber too. My, my question to you guys here in the room is, what are you guys don't do? That's my question, dude. You guys do everything mm-hmm. uh, except for dudes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> facts, facts. Oh, okay. That's, uh, that, I mean, but anyways, going back to the thing. So I needed like a pair of clippers because the guy didn't have any, and then he was just like. I need to get a haircut, man. And then I was just like, I got you. You know, like, you didn't have to pay me. Like, I was just that desperate for friends. Right. <laughs> I was willing to give out free haircuts. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, and then I see this guy and I was just like, yo, uh, it was like perfect opportunity to talk to him. I was like, hey, bro, uh, do you happen to have like hair, like, you know, clippers for like cutting hair? And then he was like, uh, y- you see, like, I don't know, but. Let me check. Let me check yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me check. And then, That's and then, the exact voice and, he does. He's like, oh, I don't know. Uh, let me check. You know, and then, and then I'm just like, okay. And he was like. You, you want to come to my room? <laughs> <laughs> he, he makes it sound weird. Nah, that's well, exactly. that's because I don't want to make him wait in the hall. So I was like, you know what? Just come to my dorm and yeah, you know, yeah, just yeah. look for it. Uh-huh. Just, you you want to come to my dorm? And I was just like, okay. <laughs> so I walked in there. But he makes it so much more weird, bro. I walk in there and I'm standing there. And he's, he's like looking around. He's like <sighs> shuffling through shit, whatever. Like, yeah. And then he comes back and he was like, I got this, and it's fucking beard clippers. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what he wanted it wow. for. I didn't know what he wanted it for. So I didn't know he was a barber either. <laughs> You know, so, I, I I knew like very little information about this I dude. Like, so I'm, I'm pretty sure this guy knows the difference between like hair cutting clippers and beard clippers. So I was just like, man, this is not gonna work, right? So I was like, you know what? The other guy has beard clippers too, but maybe I could just use that shit. You know? So I I go back. I was like, but then I was like, you know what? Let me get your snap. Mm-hmm. I go back and like cut the guy up with beard clippers, and it came out crispy. And I said, I was like, bro, really? look at this. You know what I mean? This is. He sent me a snap and, and it was fire. That's how that's how we kind of like we got close. And then yeah. spring happened, COVID, uh-huh. pretty much everybody left. And right. there wasn't like there wasn't that many people on campus. He yeah. was doing his flight things. Uh-huh. I was still doing private. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So Shang, you met him four years ago, right? I met him four years ago. Actually, you know what's crazy? I met him four years ago. We got close around this time. Yeah. So yeah. was it 2019? 2020. 2020. Like 2020, start- we got close. Okay. I met him in 2019. Yeah. So you were here at 2019. Yeah. Yeah, I started my school here in 2019, oh, yeah. and I met. Were you, were, you, were you in the spring semester? You know what's great? I met fall, fall, fall semester, yeah, fall yeah, of 2019, and I met Shashank at 2019, fall semester. Yeah, There's did you know him when I was here? I knew of him, yeah. but not as close. Did you know me when I was here, 2019? I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, you look mad familiar. I probably ran into <sighs> you at a couple of par- parties or something. Like I, don't I know. didn't go to any party. Did you know Kaihun? 
by any chance? Cahoon? Cahoon? Cahoon, Cahoon. No. I swear, because I, <clears throat> I, I, I also didn't want to say this until now, because like you look really familiar yeah, to me. Yeah, you look Because I was here in 2019 too. A lot of things happened between, you yeah. know, back then. Yeah. I was in India, by the way. <laughs> So thank you for asking. Ain't nobody knew who you were, Carter. I was in Orlando, by the way. Man, it was, <laughs> it was COVID happening. I was stuck at home. Bro. Andrew, where were you in 2019? Mexico. Mexico. Really? Mexico. Mexico. Not, not in Mexico. 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 No. no. What about you, Rafi? You were in the womb, right? <laughs> 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 you went to the AJR concert in 2019. I right? did. I did go to were that. Were you yeah. there? Yeah, I was there. I did, was you, there. did you know him by then? No. Shank? I did not. No. I got. I met him. I got introduced to him. Yeah. Later. Through a niche. Yeah. It was actually a very weird, like, uh, it was weird. situation. <laughs> so here, here, here's what it is. What was weird about this situation? Uh, okay. So I, I was <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me, let me, let me. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so the way, the way it happened was him and I, were, I was just like, man, we're kind of hungry. Let's go to late night. Late night used to be in Student Village. Yes. I right? remember that. Yep. So uh, great times. Him and I went and I was just getting like, I don't know, fries or something. I knew I, I knew that at the time yeah. because of all the music stuff and all the partying and yeah drinking and uh -huh. not to mention puke around the sink instead of in the sink they both are from the same region in india so uh -huh. it's like when i see two people from the same region like and they he, he loses his mind and, and not yeah. only that what what gives me like it's like a mental orgasm is like when they speak their language to each other <laughs> yeah bro, you know he's like bro speak speak, speak. He's, like, <laughs> he's like he just put two people that i've never met before uh -huh. he's like bro you guys gotta speak and i'm like <laughs> I what do i tell him yeah. like hey don't don't blame the guy it's a networking guy over here man like don't <laughs> don't blame him i'd seen shank um on uh, anisha's like instagram a couple of times yeah so he seemed very familiar to me but i didn't know who he was until anisha introduced me to shank yeah uh but yeah the the, f the literally the first thing he said to me when he introduced Shank to me was, yo, you both are from the same place in India. Yeah. Can you converse in Kannada, which is... That's our language. Basically the, the regional language, one of the many regional languages spoken in India. Yeah. And so we were just dumbfounded. We didn't know what to say to each other because we just met. Right. I was going to go like, you know, hey, what's up? My name is Anirudh. And then, what, you what know. did you end up saying? I think that's what we ended up saying. Yeah, that's, that's what we that's ended up saying. Yeah. 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 But we just said that. And then we were just, there was this uh, little like awkward silence because we didn't know what much to say after that. Mm. You know, that that's how friendships are made. So it right. starts off awkward, but then once you get all real comfortable. And we are all here. Yeah, we're yeah, all, yeah, right yeah, exactly. all connected. All connected. All connected. But well, honestly, we, we, we. but honestly. Yes, Anish. But do you know how I met Anish on campus for the first time? No. We, so I got entrance to New Res 3. I had a couple of friends in New Res 3. We were pretty dumb. We were freshmen. So uh -huh. We didn't know what the hell I was doing. Yeah. But we were running across the hall on 6th floor. Yeah. No, 6th floor is 7th floor. Yeah. 7th, bro. Don't, don't, don't disrespect me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're on 7th floor. And I was running down the hallways with a couple of boys. We run past Anish's room. We kept running past. Mm. And then this guy opens the door. Nods his head out. I'm like, I was just like, he wanted you to stop. Yeah, he wanted me yeah. to stop because we were making noise at like 2 a.m. Oh wow, wow, okay. <laughs> it was a, a red about <laughs> Robert. Honestly, yeah. I don't think I was trying to make him stop. I think I was trying to join him. No, but our slowly weaving together. Yeah. So th that's the best thing about this entire group, mm. and this is just the mere seven of us. There are a lot more people who are oh, yeah. in this effort, mm -hmm. effort, including you as well. But mm. since you've recently you know been a part of this group you can see how infectious it is i went through shashing you know? shashing introduced yeah, exactly. me to you guys yeah yeah right. it's pretty viral and yeah facts <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like kind of piggybacking off what he said like to be honest with you that's not how we initially met i knew of him him and i go way back yeah really? like i've known him since he was like 10 what yeah so that's a crazy part of the story because like i when i came to campus i always wanted to do something when i come to campus right but i want to do something outside I knew Anish way before. Like it's been our friendships like over eight, nine years now. Yeah. Wow. We met at a temple and we used to go to this Chinmaya thing. Uh, we In do India? classes for the Hindu religion and yeah. we met. We met each other. We met each other there. He came to my high school too. We we studied for one year together. Yep. Well, like he's a higher batch, but yeah, yeah. I've known of him because his little brother. Uh -huh. But we had a long really like a long thing. And my, I was pretty stupid when I came to college yeah. and I saw ERAU uh -huh. and he said ERAU 2023. I'm uh -huh. like, oh, you go to, uh, you go to Embry Riddle? Yeah. And he just left me on scene. I was <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think the moral, the moral of the story is like, if yeah, you yeah. know someone, him or her would know other person mm -hmm. who you, who would know you. Yeah. Like, that's how society is built. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Cause I, that's how you get to know everyone. Like recently I uh, heard the story that when you know one person, mm -hmm. the five people around him or her will know five people around you. Yeah. 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 It's like a chain reaction. Yeah. There's, yeah. There's like a, a little deeper thought, like at least from what I believe in, like I've had this 
it's like why do we meet certain people at certain times you know I, yeah. what I mean? like, but then like when you're so close with them like i've had this with him i've had this with janesh karthik and I'll probably have it with you too, man. <laughs> Gracias. Right now, right now, Gracias. probably. Gracias. It's probably right now. Yeah. So, but there's a thing. It's like, why is it that we don't meet them earlier? And, and we wish we had meet, met them earlier. Uh -huh. It's like, you have to reach a certain stage in your life where like, now you have more room right. for that energy to come to you. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, we're all working off of energies. So it's like, you know, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we all yeah. we all need more room. Uh -huh. and the room's called 509 for tonight. Yeah. 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 That's what we want. That's yeah. what we want. Uh, right now it's 652. I was actually about to end uh, the yeah. podcast because the new guest. To everyone listening, Daytona Desi 509 tonight. Gates open at 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. We're about to party and blow the roof off. Yes. And we'll see you there. This at what time? At what time? At what time? 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 And don't forget, Carter, don't down. forget. You got to do the signature. Don't forget. Don't F it. Listen, okay. Just <laughs> <laughs> you you got to bleep it out, but I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I say Come sorry to everyone for okay, this. Okay. Pull the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. That's the spirit. That's okay. the end. Nice. That's the end. Thank you for having me, guys. Yes. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, Brian. Shishank. Thank you, Karthik. Thank you, Janesh. Thank you, Ender. Thank you, Anish. Thank you, Thank you, Anirut, and thank you, Rafi, for coming thank to the you. podcast. And lastly, yeah. abhi the party shuru. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. That was a fire that podcast, was fire. bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, that was good, bro.